Hi everyone, Miss Chelsea here from the Grandview Heights Public Library to share some tips and activities with you that you can do from home with your baby. Uh, I wanna talk a little bit about an early literacy skill called print awareness. So print awareness is um, something that you can work on with your baby when you are reading to them or if you're um, just pointing out different things that um, different objects that have like the actual words um, around you, especially helpful when you're reading. So like this book is Never Touch a Shark. Um, this is a board book, especially made for babies. They're um, kind of tougher and so baby can't uh, rip the pages and they can turn them more easily. It's just an example on here. It says you must never touch a giant shark. So not only can you point to shark when you're reading this, you can also point to the word over here, shark. You must never touch a giant shark and kind of show both of them. Um, this is an especially uh, fun kind of board book because it has like some texture. So that's kind of fun for baby to um, check out as well. Uh, work on some of those sensory skills. But uh, yeah, pointing out those words while you read the book can be helpful. This one goes uh, with all these different underwater creatures. So we have an octopus. You can talk about the eight legs and the octopus. That those words, those symbols that are in the letters actually mean something. And they symbolize, convey what uh, you are reading in the book to them. So, um, since we were talking about looking at books and seeing the words like that, we're going to do a rhyme about some of our body parts. So, you see with your eyes, touch your eyes. You sneeze with your nose, touch your nose, and you can do a, a fake sneeze, a choo! T uh, you hear with your ears, touch your ears and you kiss with your lips. Mwah. Kiss me here, Mwah. kisses for baby. All right, I wanna share one more board book with you. This is Winter Babies, written by Catherine O. Galbraith and illustrated by Adela Pons. Um, there's a series of these, this is called, the series is Babies in the Park, so they've got all of the seasons. Um, and this has just like some very simple text um, trees, sparkles, snow plops, um, just a couple words on each page, very vibrant, colorful pictures showing um, young ones outside in the winter. Um, as I said, we have them for, or they write them for um, the other seasons as well. So after sharing a book about winter, it might be fun to do a winter song like this one with baby to kind of connect those ideas. So here we go. Let's sing a winter song. Let's sing a winter song. The days are short, the nights are long. Let's sing a winter song. And while you do this, you can also do the baby sign for winter, which you put your fists up like this, and just put them together. If you, it can also mean cold. If you make like the face and like, like you're cold. Um, but just like this, it is winter. So you can add that when you sing the words. So the winter wind is cold, the winter wind is cold. It freezes nose, ears, and toes. Touch those toes. The winter wind is cold. All right, so that's a fun one with the sign for winter. All right, I'm kind of gonna do a uh, rhyme to kind of help warm us up a little bit after reading that winter book and uh, doing that winter song. So this is called Flying Man, Flying Man. You can substitute man for anything. I'm gonna substitute Elsie because this is my baby Elsie that I'm modeling with. Um, so we'll go do it with Elsie, but you can do your baby's name, Flying Woman, Flying Man. If you have a fun nickname for them, anything works. So we're gonna do some bounces. Flying Elsie, flying Elsie up in the sky, Wee! Where are you going to flying so high? Over the mountains and over the sea, wee! Flying Elsie, flying Elsie, can't you take me? Ooh, what a nice warm hug for baby. All right, that is all I have for you today. Everyone have a wonderful day, bye-bye.